Hello and welcome to the Western Bulldogs podcast, Barkley Street number We're two. Back. We're back. They gave us another uh, another another run at it, uh, Toja. <laughs> Just a quick run through your nicknames. Welcome, Easton Wood. <laughs> um, uh, Weston, aka yes. Weston, Fenton, Fentoja, Toja. Yes. My mate, Paddy Walsh from uh, Commercial Club Hotel in Fitzroy, he was always very disappointed <laughs> your nickname wasn't uh, Clint. Well, I got Clint back in the day uh, at cricket, but as you know, these names, they... they they just evolve and explore. So you, so you were Clint I've Easternwood. Been Clint. Yeah, I've been I've been Weston for a very long time now. Shout out to Arch if you're Archie. listening. Great to have you, Arch. We'll have to get Archie on the podcast uh, at some be, stage. Yeah, he'd go down very well. How very are you, well. mate? Going very well, mate. Um, yeah, up and about. The big win from the boys on the weekend. Um, and, yeah, I got through the VFL game as well on the weekend, so I'm feeling fresh and, fresh and good. Right, well, before we get into the, uh, the frivolity... <laughs> <laughs> and the slapstick. Uh, how did the how did the VFL go? How was your form, fitness? Um, well, yeah. So I, I got to play the the full game, which was a great test. Um, obviously, for what were the names of my hamstrings again? Uh, Listeners well, from last week. Well, funny you should bring that up because I put it out there la- uh, <laughs> last week. So some of the nominations were Cheech and Chong, <laughs> Tango and Cash. Uh, all good nominations, but I'm not moving off Laverne and Shirley. So part <laughs> of the well, part got, of the amusement a... is that you don't know who Laverne and Shirley were. No idea. Um, so I think that's good little. I've got, I, got a, I got one more in my my wheelhouse. I got suggested that one's R two and the other's D two. Oh, the Star R2, Wars two D two. Yeah, okay. So thanks, Anne. I'm going to well, go. Well, it's with not that. bad. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Anne, um, I'm pretty stubborn on these things. How is Laverne? How did uh, how did she, how did she go? Um, no, look, they they went great. Um, it was the first. Uh, obviously, first hit back from about six weeks, um, and uh, yeah, I felt I felt good. It, yeah. Despite the the first two quarters going for thirty four minutes and my lungs feeling like Ooh. they were going to explode, it was yeah. a long, whew, yeah, long quarters. Um, but no, I got through the got through the full game and and felt like I could get into a bit of rhythm and hit top speed and um, yeah, uh, it was it was great to. Yeah, great to get through. Yeah, okay. So you can put your name up for selection this week. Yes, half a chance. Yes, so should be should be available. Okay. Uh Jamara looked uh, pretty impressive from all reports. Yeah. Kicked kicked, uh, kicked a bag. No, he was. Um so the game we we were getting probably smashed out of the middle early and he was probably the only thing that kept us kept us in it. Kicked we, three in the first quarter. Kicked three it? in the first quarter. Yep. Um there was only about six entries we had in the first quarter inside fifty, so he was the yeah. he was a big target and making the most of that. Um, but yeah, just really impressed with the way he's been uh, launching at the yeah. footy. Looks like a real handful to yeah. to play on. So that's something that can certainly excite dogs okay. fans for a long time to come so for sure. What are we Thursday morning? Team will be out probably. When we play on Sunday, so it'll probably be. Oh, okay. come out yep. Friday. So a little bit of a delay on that. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of um, the game against the Pies? God, it was Good win um, by the boys. yeah, it was inc- great win. Jeez, it was nice to be in the crowd with fifty thousand people yeah. in Did there you as feel well. It? Was your atmosphere was yeah. It nice? Yeah. I watched it was, it it was great. After being through last year, how strange it was at games. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a, it was a wonderful, a wonderful change of pace, and also just to see how well the boys, um, in particular, started. Yeah, and the way that they. Uh, yeah, finished the game and um, what a great way to start uh, start the year. Looked hungry, the mids. Any sort of concerns around sharing the ball and getting <laughs> up midfield time? Doesn't it? Yeah, it was a bit of a domination in there, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was great to see the combination between Steph Martin and, and Tim English um, working really well in the ruck. Um, as we know, Brody Grunny had given us some some challenges in, in years gone He'd by. He smashed us. He'd ripped <laughs> us apart, Ethan. You say challenges, <laughs> we say smack. We say smashed. Uh, being honest. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so it was great to see him not have a big impact on the game, and um, conversely to see Steph and, and Tim have a, you know, have a have a real impact. I'd like to get Steph Martin on the podcast at some stage. Yep, I've spoken He's... to him. Look, I've spoken to him. He he, he said not this week. Okay. Um, which I uh, pegged in is definitely next week. Okay, next week, Steph yep. Martin. Okay, so Look, you promise you've heard yeah. it first. Promise. Okay, there's <laughs> exclusive from uh, from Clint Easternwood. Um, <laughs> So send in your questions. We've got some some great interaction during the week from hashtag Barkley Street. Um, we threw out the challenge last week for nicknames for uh, Tony Scott, Anthony Scott, Lockie McNeil. Yep. Got some uh, got a bit of feedback here, Eason. So do, yeah. do you want to be the? I'll read it out and you be the sort of judge just to okay, see. Okay. Okay. Because it, it st- does get a little bit. A bit weird. It's a bit weird. Yeah, and we've <laughs> Which got. Which is unlike yeah, Twitter. A little That's strange. Bit, no, but it's kind of it's almost sort of it's it's obscure. I really like the uh, the interaction. <laughs> Our next guest, Tom Liberatore, p- perhaps the most avant-garde 
uh, footballer of all time, yes. which would be an interesting yep. sort of topic. I wonder who would be up against. Um, okay. Uh, this is from Stu Calvert. Thanks for uh, writing in, Cal- Stu. What have we got? Stu. Anthony Scott equals Christian. So he wants the nickname to be Christian because he's okay. got two Christian names. Just uh, okay. marinate on yep. that. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll leave that as an option. Yeah. Lockie McNeil should be Pounder or Big Mac. Pounder or Big Mac. He's got a good, uh, good, good ring. It's Macca's version of Lockie Neal. That was his. That's the reasoning there. So would that be Little Mac? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> just, I'm just reading out. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jack Rhodes. Jack Rhodes, Rhodes has, uh, for Lockie McNeil, wants Ali McBeal. <laughs> yeah, I like the rhyme Didn't slang. mind that. That's I didn't nice. mind yep. Ali. Uh, and then it, get, then it got weird. For Anthony Scott, <laughs> What's Professor. Happened? Okay. Um, if you Google the name, a lecturer from Melbourne Uni comes up. Yeah, there's a lot of legwork. That was re- there was a, then a reply from Debbie who said, "Why would you name an AFL football after a uni lecturer?" Good point, Debbie. Well, a point <laughs> something we should well, raise. A point well made. Jack started really well with Ali McBeal, then it just got a bit, a bit sort of strange. All right, uh, this is from uh, Lachlan, Lachlan Kelso. On your Kelso. This is really good. This is my kind of okay. tweet. Do you think and he was thinking of you when he when he wrote uh, this? I don't know. Thought, you know no, what? I, I just really try and impress Bob here. I just like the stream of consciousness. <laughs> just like I'm just writing what I'm thinking. Okay, <laughs> Anthony Scott should hence be referred to as Daryl or derivatives of Daz, Dazzla, or Dazzle. <laughs> that Daryl is born out of Daryl Braithwaite, born out of horses, born out of what runs around Ascot. A Scott in brackets. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh we got. I didn't know where it was yeah. going, but wow. Do you want me to read that out I again? I think we need to digest that just once more. All right. Anthony Scott should hence be referred to as Daryl. I love Darryl, the use of hence, by the way. Yep. Or derivatives, Daz, Dazzler, or Dazzle. The Daryl is born out of Daryl Braithwaite, <laughs> born out of horses, born out of what runs around Ascot, in brackets, A. Scott. It's uh, it's genuinely brilliant. It's very, very good. And, look, Dazzle goes well with him too because he is quite dazzling yeah. to the eye. Okay, and I just like, like Daryl. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you derivatives can, yeah, of Daryl. Start with Daryl and then, yep, and then all <laughs> Lots that. Lots of D. Um, yeah, so <laughs> Miles, uh, James McNeil, We Whistler. can't beat that, can we? No, I, don't, I think Daryl's, but I feel like, you know, just, you know, to do- Did he um, have one for Lockie or was that- No. Nah. Uh, he just had the had the. He knew he had the goods. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, James McNeil that. Whistler painted Whistler's mother, so I have Whistler. Okay, that's that. Whistle. The home of the clan McNeil in Scotland is an island called Barra. Does Lockie seem like a Barra? There's lots of uh, research gone into yeah. this. I don't mind I like Barra. The depth. Yeah, Bar- yeah no, Barra's a good nickname. Barra's a good nickname. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do you what do you what do you reckon? I think I think Daryl we can lock away. <laughs> Here you go past yeah, Dazzler and uh, and uh, the Dazzle. So what do you reckon for uh, Lockie McNeil? We've got Ali McBeal. Yeah, that was probably the one. You reckon? Yeah, the rhyming's very okay. nice. Okay, all right. So we go with Ali McBeal so, and Daryl. Yeah. Okay. Well done, everyone out there. Uh, so send through your questions yeah, uh, next week. Um, hashtag Barclay Street. Uh, Clint, let's take a short Clint. break, and when we come back, we will have the great. Tom Libertore, who will be playing his 150th game for the footy club this week. What a treat. Great to have him. Let's go. Welcome back to the Western Bulldogs podcast, Barkley Street. It's a great honour for us. He's a he's a favourite of the, the Western Bulldogs podcast, our highest rating podcast, yes. it has to be said. A lot of intrigue for this man, the most <laughs> I'd describe the most avant-garde <laughs> footballer. Perhaps of all time, that's maybe a conversation for another day. Played his 150th game this week. T-Bone, Tom, welcome to uh, Barclays Street. Thanks, boys. That was a very kind introduction. I'm uh, also in very well-esteemed company. Um, <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Good, thank you. How are you guys? Yeah, we're pretty Thanks good. Fine, mate. How are you, yeah. mate? How's it feel to be playing that, that 150th? It's been a, been a bit of a journey. Yeah. Um, oh, I think I'm uh, very excited. Very Probably my, mostly grateful, I think, out of anything. Um yeah, just um, as you said before, pr- uh, the word privilege. Um, I feel nothing but, yeah, I suppose privilege and, and gratuity for being here after injuries and journey and, um, yeah, just happy to be playing every week. So It's important to, you know, check in with the inner child. Do you, do you sometimes think back to, you know, that little 10-year-old with the 
the gelled up spike <laughs> yeah. r- running out with Dad. You know, would have just loved to have played one game, and uh, here you are on the eve of 150. That's right. I don't need to bring up that uh, <laughs> hairdo. I think there's still uh, four empty buckets of gel on the, on the um, bathroom sink. I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's very yeah. You, um, sends your shivers, then just uh, sends your sh- sends shivers, then just fine. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, exciting stuff. We're pretty pumped, man. We're um, pretty excited. How was it? Did you enjoy round one back in front of big crowd? Always nice to beat the Magpies, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, loved it. Um, loved the crowd, especially. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, always love the deck and driving yeah. through Richmond and that sort of. Yeah. Um, yeah, that on the way to the game. So as is always the way. So we sent out the. Um, the uh, the smoke signal to Bulldogs fans and ask for some <coughs> questions to send in flurry of um, there has of, been uh, flurry of responses and it, hasn't there been some beauties by yeah do, would you like to uh, read out some of the uh, some of those questions <laughs> Ethan we'll... I certainly would and and thanks to the listeners for sending these in uh, there's um, a great variety here we've got one from from Josh Tan I think uh, Josh might follow you closely here at Stock um, he's got a great one. What's Libba's favourite Simpsons episode? Now, how long do we have oh, for this, no, this, no. Uh, this particular um, discussion? Is this the type of – is this <laughs> your most hated type of question? Probably, yeah. yeah. Along with what's your favourite band or song or yeah. that kind of, I'm sure you got this yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think it's like anyone. Like, what's your favourite? I don't know. Oh, so asking who's your favourite child? Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> do, on just today, like, so – Think of the question could be the answer could be different on any uh, any other day, but today you got to put, yeah. put one episode on right now. Um, what are you putting on? I don't want to say the one I just recently watched because that's too easy. How but, recently did you just watch an oh, episode? Like two days ago, I watched the George Bush episode. It's that, <laughs> pretty special. Bar? How it starts with Homer hating George Bush Senior, um, and then it ends with Gerald Ford coming in, and that's that's the guy who he's most matched with, and. Yeah, the common yep. man of America is like Gerald Ford. Like, um, that's the intellectual yeah, um, that's analysis. Things that were certainly soaring over our heads as yeah, <laughs> yeah. twelve-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I watched it the other day. Um, <laughs> but yeah, having yeah, watching Bart terrorize ex-president, and then when he introduced himself to the town, and they don't know who he is. But I'm George Bush. And he's standing there, <laughs> like motionless. It's like, um, yeah, that's probably up there, along with the uh, Whacking Day one when the yeah, snakes come on. Yeah, Whacking Day is good. And Barry White comes and <laughs> sings. <laughs> Can't get enough of your love, <laughs> dude. <laughs> if the speaker hits the ground, was, they come with their bats. Oh, Whacking uh, Day. <laughs> they draw like whacking. they're drawing guns. Like, I think yeah. that's a re- maybe that's a I reference. Like that. but, uh, well, a fantastic yeah. tangent. Thanks for that question, Josh. <laughs> What have we got next? I'm sure this will go on another tangent. From Giuseppe, we've got what's the next tattoo going to be, Liver? And, and where? Where on the? Where's the location? I've actually booked one in for the next couple of weeks, but I can't reveal. That's that's no fun, is it? So can we? Uh, can you speculate? Oh. So let, should we put it out there? What? What should it be? Great question. Yeah, there you go. Let's have some. What should, yeah, what some should f- Libby's next yep. tat be? Hashtag Barkley Street. You've got to include the socials, Ethan. I'm, I'm new to this tattoo. I'm you, getting you, there. You're junior broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite ready for but cash. Appreciate the on-air feedback. We're, yep. You know, we're working. That's on. right. So yeah, send us in. What should Tom's next uh, next tattoo be? Um, is there any more you'd like to read out there, Toja? Um, we've got from Tracy uh, from Tracy here, and she says, after winning a premiership, has your nonna conceded that you are now the best liver? Or oh, is boy. her Tony, her beloved Tony, still her greatest source of pride? Well, or, it's or Fred. Based, yeah, or Fred, <laughs> the um, dad's twin bodybuilder who runs four gyms. But shout out to Fred, <laughs> the gyms on Muscle TV. <laughs> uh, um, it's usually based on the barometer of if Nana brings out the old videotapes from going for dinner. And they haven't surfaced in... Oh, I'm going to say a few years now, so I think I might have overtaken him. Jeez. Yeah. So does that mean now oh, you're the, the bringing out the trying. DVD of the print? Has, has Nonna upgraded to a DVD player no, or is it still so. just strictly VHS only? Nah, it's strictly VHS. She's got <laughs> – she does have Foxtel, but I'm not sure if she knows how to use it. Um, but the shrine of me is in the lounge room now, not the – in the dining area. It's where Tony's been shifted back to the lounge room. Oh, and so who's his figure? I – oh. No, I reckon I've, I've got it at the moment, yeah. Gee, this is how wars start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. This is significant. Depends on if he helps her or not because obviously she's, she's pretty old and he helps her. But if he has, if she has a bad day with him, then things can change. She just a average couple things. If yeah, he right. rocks up on time and mows her lawns and yeah. is there to help her, then I'll go over there and she'll be like, oh, 
Oh, how good is your daddy? He's such a good man. And like, the next day, he's like, where's your daddy? Like, it's just, <laughs> okay. It changes. So it's a, okay, so it's yeah, a fluid. Okay. Okay. Can I introduce a new segment? So I want to call this, new one. I want to call this the three-way runaround. Three-way runaround. Yeah. So this. So whenever we get a current player in, okay. we're going to have some sort of stock <clears throat> questions. Yeah. Just to sort of, yeah, just, you know, get to know these guys a little bit better. Okay. So okay. I'll ask one question. And you can ask the next one, and we'll just we'll sort of go like that. So then there's three of us, so it's a three-way run around. So Tom's asking a question no, as well. No, Tom's answering the question. <laughs> yes, he's, <laughs> he's had a he's <laughs> real true relax. So make the man a drink, <laughs> a pina colada, <laughs> and sit back to you, Dave. He's just young. He's just uh, young. He's just so young. I appreciate that. that. All right, T-Bone. What was the movie that scared you as a kid, the movie that terrified you as a kid? Um, I don't think I. We never got scared. Oh, I'm right, a tough guy. <laughs> yeah, oh, was, none. Dad, you know what, Dad? <laughs> yeah, he scared me as a kid. There was no movie that scared me as a kid. Just him. Um, ah, uh, I don't think movies really made me scared. I got sad. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, what, I was more sad. The first what, movie what made movie me made you sad was, was Toy Story. Oh, yeah, when, sentimental. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it really got me. Mm. Or oh, then as it got on, Shawshank Redemption. Of course. Well, it might have been the first one. Right, cry. okay. Yeah. Was Toy Story 3 the saddest of all of them, though? No. Nah. Going into the melting pot. Oh, yeah. Oh, the tough footballers didn't find that. <laughs> no. Nah. I, was, I was more of a Lotto <laughs> bear fan, you know. Like. <laughs> 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 Lotto. Do you know what I'm when he, when he gave him away? Or, yeah, that, that got me, too. I can't remember. When Andy um, handed him over. Tom. Yeah. Oh, I know. You got I'm a friend in <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, moving days. Not Bob's moving Bob's days. Seeing everyone, so it that is. means it's time to move That's on to the next me, um, question. Not the first time ever. <laughs> All right, Tom. Who's the actor that would play you in a movie about oh. your life? Um, I want to say Shia LaBeouf. Yes, great. Because of, who's that? Maybe oh. I'm just biased because people who's say that? I look like him. Yeah, I don't know. He does definitely look who's like that? him. We'll get a quick Google. Or you can, or can you can you can you Google? I was I had I was thinking more of a Sean Penn kind of. Oh yeah, he looks similar. Yeah, yeah Sean yeah. Penn's about got thirty years on me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he played that. Yeah. I think Shia's like Shia's. Yeah, he's he's a nice fella. What's like, he been in? <laughs> Who is this fella? He's in Transformers. Never seen that. Look at that, that's oh, Tom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, he that's off, pretty good. He went yeah. off the grid a bit too. He's a bit yeah. weird now. So I think he's come back. He's, okay. a, he's a bit, bit happier. Yeah, okay. Uh, did you watch um, uh, The Last Dance, the Chicago Bulls documentary? Did, yeah, you did watch it. it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's take Michael Jordan out of it. So I want to ask every current player this. So take Jordan out. Yep. Which character in that documentary were you kind of most interested by, most intrigued by? Uh, probably Dennis Rodman. Or Phil Jackson, the mm. two. Yeah. Um, I can't remember that much further. Um, yeah, probably more because I watched Rodman's doco as well, yeah. which I almost, which I thought was, um, yeah, I liked that a little bit better because it went into further detail. Yeah, specifically it was. Yeah. But um, yeah, I thought I found Phil Jackson even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He intrigued me more about how well he managed his players and yeah. how much he went into Rodman and how it's, much he helped him. His spiritualism and yeah, that did kind you, of stuff. Did you uh, were you interested by that moment where they talked about the backwards walking man? And so in some cultures, how there's a backwards walking. So Jackson yeah. describing Dennis Rodman as that because I think some people would think of you in that <laughs> same. In, fo- in football, is a pretty conservative yeah uh, world, and some might see you as a backward walking yeah. man. Yeah, well, I thought it was forward, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thought it was sideways. Yeah, I was just wow. yeah, I thought it was normal. But yeah. Um, <laughs> um yeah, they're probably the two, I think. But yeah, especially after um Yeah, watching Do- Dennis's individual documentary, yeah. that was that was yeah, he's probably the one. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right, nice. Um I'm really got- looking forward to this. So that'll be uh, the third that'll be the question that'll be the next question we need to ask there uh, right, all, over, all over all over Bobo because there was go. four on the there page and we'd asked <laughs> three <laughs> and basic maths will tell you tells me this there is was where we're one at. left alright well thanks for football. the uh, who says thanks for holding my hand through that football <laughs> the simple souls eh? let's hope to a wait it's been worth it here we go um, what opposition player lives in your neighbourhood oh, this hey. is not I was being genuine this is not a piss take um, 
Will Hoskin Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew this would make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Why does that make you laugh? I so just, I just the idea of footballers yeah. living in the same yeah. neighbourhood and it's you see each what? other around. And you sent the, he asked, I asked him this morning and I was like, oh, hold on, this is hard because there's not many in the West that live in Footscray, so yeah. there's not many who would live here that don't. Mm. Um, but yeah, Will Hoskin, I've seen him at our little ones go to the same daycare. So we've yeah, crossed paths <laughs> and is dropping there, kids off. Is there interaction? Is there the Yeah, there's a pleasantry, there's a hey go mate. Um yeah, look yeah, good luck for the year. Yeah. About step once a week for six weeks, yeah. good luck for the year. <laughs> Did you see him last week in the build up to the game? I haven't seen him this year, so maybe, oh, yeah, maybe he's, he's hiding. Maybe yeah, he's, he's hiding. He's moved. He's scared. Yeah. <laughs> he's, scared. he's sick of the West. <laughs> <laughs> he's changed daycares. My little one's given his one grief, maybe I don't know. Have you who lives in your neighbourhood? You um, live in a posh neighbourhood. Uh, so from which, Dice, Dice and Hepple. Oh, uh, yeah. Bumpy Dice a bit, oh, which is yeah. nice. He's a, he's a long admit. way from Langatha now, Dice. Long and, way, yes. Yeah. yeah, well, There'd of course, he live across the road from you, you could rattle off. You could yeah. rattle off quite a bit. I mean, tell us where you live. Tell us where you <laughs> live. Park. Tom lives in Footscray. Yeah. Where is it? Albert Park. Okay. Where are you? <laughs> where are you? <laughs> North <laughs> Fifth. <laughs> you knew that. Just Where's this going? This is... These are not my clothes. These are what North get people, residents get sent in the mail. Yeah, it's a starter pack. They, they, you can start a pack, pack includes working yeah. boots but that have never been on a work site. Great. Yeah. You still, you still I- ironic, right out yeah, of my mouth. Trucker caps with an <laughs> ironic sort of Doesn't drive a truck, little, yeah. old film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Living in the past. <laughs> Jaws, man. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, just few, yeah, yeah oh. well, well, no, nah, not that. Uh, Maybe it's, it's past yeah. players. Yeah, right. There's a few past players. Well, Lloyd is now a past player, but he lives yes. there. Yeah. yeah, Sammy Lloyd. Yeah. He's just around the corner. Great Sam Lloyd. Uh, Richo's just moved in. Yeah. Ben Harrison. Joe Danaher was. Oh, big. But Big Joey's. Big Dirty Joe. 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 So this week, West Coast, how are we, uh, how are we feeling? It's going to be a pretty big test Sunday. Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, they've got a few... I think they've yeah they've had a, they're coming off a good win so um, yeah yeah we're coming off a, a good defensive performance as well and I think we just had to tweak a few things yeah um, going forward and I've just monitored how they move the ball that's all we've really spoken about so far but um, yeah we'll get into more detail yeah do you today t- were you sort of um, find yourself doing a bit more um, planning around Nick Natanui I mean such a such a different kind of yeah. ruckman in there yeah we've already spoken about him as we usually do when you come up against him like we did last week with Grundy um, yeah we've already scouted his his hits and um, on Tuesday I think yeah uh, we had yeah a quick little session on in our lines areas and yeah scared of where he goes but he's just strictly strictly in the ruck so yeah. big fella doesn't, doesn't push forward much but yeah um yeah looking forward to it you famously um put your hand in uh maddie prittis's hair a couple of years ago <laughs> yeah. nick nat just, just a little just a little tug of the yeah <laughs> maybe i don't know he's um that'd yeah. be a barclay street exclusive yeah <laughs> just, <laughs> just not not yank it just Oh, or just leave me there. Yeah, he's had a, it's probably a good thing after after Merritt did it too. So it's yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> but, um, might, he's got prize. So yeah. <laughs> <good to it's laughs> yeah. um, mate, good luck. Uh, 150 games. It's, um, yeah, it's a it's a, you know, it's a it's a special milestone, and particularly you know you, the the family name, the history of that. But your own injury troubles. I'm sure you know maybe in the last few years you had. A few doubts whether you, you might make it to 150, and, and now you look like you're, you're you know full steam ahead. We love watching you. We're so proud um, to have you out there. It's always nice to have a Liberatore in your in your never. corner when you walk up the race. I'm sure Woody feels like that. Um, yep, good luck. Hope you guys uh, hope you guys have a big win. Woody, hope you get in. Thanks, mate. If not. Look after Laverne and Shirley, <laughs> right and left hamstring. <laughs> um, send in your questions, Bulldogs fans, about what uh, tattoo Tom should get next. Um, have a good weekend and uh, go dogs. Thanks, boys. Thanks, Thanks Tom. Cheers.